people are a lot taller than me. Hi, I'm Kelly at Dulce Dementia, and I've been a writer, I've been a professional writer for over five years. Um, I actually just had the chance to become a freelance writer in the last six months, and um, yeah, woo, a lot. Um, and uh, people find out I'm a writer, and yeah, I'm a freelance writer, and they want to know how they can get into freelance writing. And so rather than send out a thousand emails, I thought I would give a presentation tonight so everyone would stop asking me how to become a freelance writer. So, first thing you have to ask is, are you neurotic enough to be a, a writer? Does this, does this give you a migraine? Because it gives me a migraine. I mean, or maybe hives. I get, sometimes I get hives with bad grammar. So you kind of have to be neurotic enough to uh, want to grammar check everything. However, you have to know your weaknesses. Um, some people have problems with grammar. My weakness is homonyms. I know it's stupid because I'm a writer, but, you know, they're my weaknesses, and I know it, so I always check for it before I turn anything in. Next thing you need to know is you need to use the hell out of your networks. You're on Facebook, you're on Twitter, you're on LinkedIn. Use them. Someone there is in marketing, someone there needs a writer, so contact them, find out if they need a writer. Um, if you don't have a network, uh, I don't really get that, first of all, but get on it. Because if you don't have a network, you don't have clients. And if you don't have clients, you don't got no money. And that's what you're in here. That's what you're doing as a freelance writer. Once you've got clients, you got to start hustling. Because being <laughs> freelance anything is all about the hustle. You've got to sell yourself. You've got to sell your product. Um, you've got to sell your writing. Um, once you sell yourself, you've got to set your prices. Um, there are three ways for a writer to set their prices per word, per hour, per page. Um, I do a mixture of all three. Uh, you can pick whatever's comfortable for you, or you can do a smorgasbord. Um, even though you've got prices set, you're not going to become rich. You're doing this for a lifestyle. You're doing this so you can set your own schedule. You know, you can also work without pants. Hi. Um, but the biggest thing is that now you don't have to deal with dick face bosses. Yeah. Um, occasionally, you have to deal with asshole clients, not talking about you, Erica. Um, and <laughs> but uh, once, you <laughs> once you've got a client, don't be a snob and take work. You're not going to be writing the great American novel. You are going to be writing a lot of technical bullshit. Sorry. Act like a professional. Get business cards. Uh, find um, an online invoicing software. I personally like FreshBooks.com. Plug. Um, Facebook page, website, anything you can do to get your name out there. And treat your clients well. I love you, Erica. Um, say please and thank you. Be nice to them. They're paying you money to do what you love. So really, treat them nicely. But don't, don't be a big pussy about stuff, OK? Like, seriously, if you disagree with something, stand up for yourself. You don't have to be mean about it, but, you know, say something. Um, one thing that you're going to have to do when you are freelance writing is develop uh, voices for each, uh, for each client. If you can't develop a unique voice for each client, I don't think that you're going to do so well. This isn't about your voice, it's about their voice. Uh, grow a pair. <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get negative feedback. It's all right. It's part of the job. Don't be a baby about it. Don't treat it with negativity. Um, ask for feedback. What can you do better? Um, it's part of it. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're, you're a good writer, we know that. You're, you're making a living doing it. But don't be arrogant about it. Um, you know, have a little humility. Confidence is good. Humility is great. Um, when you write, oh, God, proofread later. Don't proofread right afterwards. Close it. Come back to it a day later. Or if you can't do a day, do an hour. But always proofread later because you will find mistakes. Turn your work in earlier on time. Like, for some reason, creatives think they can do whatever they want. But no, if you turn it in earlier on time, your clients will thank you and they'll love you for it. So, um, in summary, know how to write before you start. Be a professional network. Learn how to take criticism. 
always proofread and turn that shit in on time. I am Dulce Dimension.